A bit about myself. I'm studying computer engineering in Albania. Uh, my interests are computers, science, uh, especially computer security, uh, computer programming, and basically any other stuff, but these are uh, the ones I care the most. So today I will present to you some basic uh, knowledge in penetration testing. I will present to you some uh, tools used by penetration testers such as SQL map, nmap, uh, and uh, uh, set, which is a social engineering toolkit. Mm, if you are a security researcher, researcher, you already know this stuff, so you will not learn anything new in this uh, presentation, but if you are new to penetration testing, you will get some basic idea. So, uh, is there a, anyone, a security researcher here? If you like to stay, you can, but you don't have to. <laughs> so why Python for penetration testing? There are some reasons, but the most important reasons are because Python is multi-platform, which means you can, uh, you don't need, you don't need depend on a platform to execute your exploits. Uh, it is very easy to deliver exploits in Python because it's, uh, high-level programming language, is rich in libraries, and may, there are many Python uh, uh, tools for penetration testers, such as Scapy, PyCap, Fuzzbox, and many others. Some important tools used by penetration testers, Nmap, SQL Map, and SET. Nmap is a security scanner uh, tool, which uh, has features such as uh, host discovery, port scanning, uh, and mapping the network. SQL map is a database uh, takeover tool and it uh, is used to de detect SQL injection flows and exploit them. And set is the social engineering toolkit. So I uh, told you guys about Nmap features. It also has the Nmap scripting engine, which allows you to write your own, own scripts and uh, interact with Nmap. Python Nmap, uh, is a Python library which allows you to interact with Nmap. We are Python guys, so we like Python. That's why we want to use Python Nmap. And I will show you some uh, simple things, and then you can Google it and uh, learn about this Python library. So I have to. I have to import nmap. I have installed. Uh, then I will use the port scanner. Then we use the scan function and pass as uh, arguments the target we want to scan. You guys know what is happening or? I think a string. Why don't you pass a port of the team?
So let's try this. And it works. Now. So uh, this is just basic, but you get the idea. So you can Google it and learn more about this tool. Now let's talk a bit about the SQL map features. SQL map has uh, features such as full support for MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL databases, and other database man management systems. It can dump. Uh, the entirely database, or you can choose to dump stuff you want, such as uh, tables, specific rows, usernames, passwords, and after you have dumped uh, 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 hashed passwords, you uh, can use SQL map to crack these hashed passwords by using a dictionary attack. So uh, it offers you uh, the tool to crack these hashed passwords. Dictionary and brute forcing attacks, what are they? So dictionary attack is basic, basically trying uh, to crack a password by using a list uh, of passwords. Uh, usually these uh, lists are built uh, upon passwords uh, found uh, by hackers. Uh, to, uh, because many people nowadays use the same passwords such as password123, password125, and uh, Attackers build this long list and try uh, this list uh, to crack the passwords they want. So uh, I'm I will demonstrate now a simple uh, Python tool uh, which uh, will attack OpenSSH. And I will use PXSH, which is a class of PEXPECT uh, library. And I will uh, give you a basic idea uh, what can you do to prevent such attacks? Target you want to attack? Server. Then it takes the username and the fi uh, txt file, which has uh, the list of passwords. And it has these passwords. Uh, it, this is just for demonstration. Us that it found the password. So OpenSSH didn't do anything to block my, uh, my attack. So now imagine a guy that is uh, a Python developer. He's a guru in Python. What can he do? Because I have just started Python learning myself and I know I'm amazing in Python, but I'm just demonstrating it. So with my coding skills, I have, I'm able to do this. Now imagine what a, a real Python programmer can do to. Uh, your machine. Now, you, uh, what can you do to prevent such attacks? You can use tools such as fail to ban. You see the tools that uh, bans IPs based on uh, their number of failures while they are trying to connect to the SSH server. So thank you very much. This was my talk. I hope uh, you have uh, uh, you got something from it, so that's it.
Okay. Do you guys have any questions? I can't see any hands. Uh, so, uh, having all these tools, how far are we ha from having an application with a big red button hack? When you press this button. Sorry, like because I. Didn't uh, okay, so we have these tools and we have this powerful language that we, you can use to merge them into one big thing. So, the, you, the, do you think it would be feasible to have some simple application with a big red button with a hack on it? So, you press the button and it just tries to do everything with everything, on everything. No, no, I don't. I do, uh, it doesn't work. You have to need. You need coding skills to do real hacking. You can't have that kind of application because if you don't learn how things work. Well, I mean, if you just use Nmap to scan to find any host that's available, then look for particular ports for the database. Yes, but if, if suppose if the if the host doesn't respond to you, you don't know what is happening. Well, I. Hi. Um, so you mentioned SET, the, uh, yeah, the social, social engineering, engineering toolkit, tool but uh, you only mentioned it. You didn't tell us what its capabilities are or, or what it is. I'm intrigued. Could you perhaps tell us a little bit more about SET and uh, what social engineering is and, and how it's been turned into a toolkit? Uh, okay, I will tell. Social engineering is the art of manipulating uh, human minds by uh, it was uh, used back in uh, old days uh, manipulating people uh, by calling them on phone and nowadays it is uh, the social engineering toolkit which is very supported in a security community and very used uh, it has uh, it is founded by uh, it is created by the founders of trustsec.com and this tool uh, is uh, uh, for example, you can use this tool to send PDF documents, uh, attach them to an email, and uh, you can social engineer people. And uh, after they click it, they are they are hacked. Basically. So, so it lets you engineer the actual social engineering attack, but it also what keeps track of what what's happening, so you can see who's who's been hooked by your attack and things like that. Is that what you're saying? Uh, you mean that does the tool keep set? Track of yeah. You? Does that? Is I don't know. No. No. All right. Okay. I'm just I'm just sharing what I'm learning because I, and there is a long way to go. So I just want to answer this question from the beginning. It's a good thing that it was so short. We have more time to socialize. Thank you very much. Thank you.